One of the first videos I ever posted on YouTube was a review of Darkman for the NES. So for number 200, I wanted to do something that would tie into that. Now I did not want to go back and play that fucking piece of shit game again, so I had to look for something similar. And gee, what do you know, I found another game based off the 1990 Darkman movie and made by Ocean. This fucking turd! In fact, this game is even worse than the NES version! I didn't think that was possible! So anyway, let's get into it. Video number 200, Darkman for the Commodore 64. To give credit where credit is due, the game's graphics do look good. In fact, I dare say I like them better than the NES version. At least they don't have that fucking annoying cartoony look. God, I hate that. Oh yeah, no bubbles either. That's a big plus. In any case, the in-game version of Darkman looks just like his movie counterpart. And most of the enemies don't look half bad either. Though there are some exceptions. And I do wonder, did they have to put ninjas into this game too? What is it, like a fucking union requirement for every game with an Asian theme? I don't know. Ignoring that cliché, I have to say that I do like the backgrounds. They sure as hell look a lot more realistic than the goofy fucking locations in the NES game. So props to them for that. The only part that I think doesn't look good is the helicopter level. The graphics do look a little flat here. But then again, it's a Commodore 64. So I don't think it's really fair to rake the game designers over the coals because of hardware limitations. However, I can rake the game over the coals for its controls. In the words of Lewis C.K., they suck a bag of dicks. Unlike the Amiga version, this game has a flat 2D plane. You move left and right by pressing the left and right arrow keys. And to jump up, you press, well, up. No shit! The jumping in this game, though, is really sluggish. It's like Darkman entered the Matrix and somehow managed to limit gravity. I think it would have helped if they made the jumping just a little bit looser. Yet the shittiness of the jumping is nothing when compared to the fighting controls. Hitting control allows you to punch, while hitting down and control allows you to do a jump kick. Let me get this straight. Down and control equals a jump kick? What kind of fucked up control scheme is that? They couldn't just do up and control. Oh no, that would be too logical. Even worse, your attacks barely have any fucking range. You practically have to walk on top of the fucking enemies just to hit them. And when you get close to them, they'll typically nail you with a cheap hit. Couldn't they give you an attack with better range? Christ, even the NES game gave you a gun in some of its levels. And believe me, the last thing I want to do is praise that fucking cunt pimple of a game. Whatever problems the controls might have, though, they're nothing compared to the gameplay. In a word, it's abysmal. One of the biggest problems with this game is its insane, almost criminal difficulty level. This game gives you practically no chance to get used to the controls, or the enemy attack patterns, or fucking anything. Nearly from the start, the enemies attack you with guns, throwing stars, and swords. Okay, so the game wants to keep you on your toes. Fine. But come on, man. At least give me a chance to get used to this shit. The only good thing is that the very first enemies don't pack guns. Well, gee, thanks a fucking lot. Okay, so you beat these kazoonies up and you move on and... Holy fucking shit! What did they feed that poor dog? Speed? That thing must be going like fucking 800 miles an hour! And where the hell did that throwing star come from? Did Superman or the Flash throw that motherfucker? If you don't know these things are coming at you, you're gonna take a hit. And when it comes to fighting, Darkman is a goddamn pussy! Now I know he's not supposed to be some kind of well-trained martial artist like Jason Bourne, but come on! He fights like he's got Parkinson's disease! Oh dear lord, and once these ninjas start popping up, you're really gonna take it up the ass! Would it be too much to ask to at least give me a little chance to succeed? One thing I can say in this level's favor, though, is that at least it's short. Which, when you think about it, isn't really much of a favor. Especially when you consider what's to come. Next up is one of these annoying photography levels. To be fair, though, I do like the fact that they tried to incorporate this part of the movie into the game. First you have to photograph a certain bad guy multiple times. Then you scan the photos into a computer and make a disguise for Darkman. But the hitbox is so small that it's crazy! Miss by even a little bit and the picture doesn't count. And not only do some of the bad guys look similar, they also disappear really quickly. Plus, not only do they give you a limited number of shots, they also give you a time limit. So you have to line your camera up just so with the window and pray you're shooting the right guy. Miss too many times though, or get too many lousy shots, and you can't make a disguise for the next level. 
and you need these disguises in later levels to slip past the bad guys and avoid losing too much health. Which means you better not waste too many shots. What a pissy-ass minigame.